JAMA Network. Controlling blood pressure is an important part of maintaining good health. One incentive to help medical teams better treat many chronic conditions like high blood pressure is known as pay for performance. Pay for performance is an increasing intervention that's being used in healthcare payment to reward providers for high quality care. Dr. Laura Peterson from the Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center in Houston and co-authors conducted a randomized control trial at 12 VA hospital outpatient clinics. Researchers offered financial incentives to primary care physicians and medical teams, including nurses, pharmacists, and support staff who treated patients for hypertension according to practice guidelines. There was also a control group who did not receive financial incentives for providing guideline recommended care. Patient medical records were reviewed every four months and the groups were compared for the number of patients in each who were treated according to guidelines. We reviewed the chart to look and see whether the blood pressure was controlled or whether the clinician prescribed guideline recommended medications. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The only incentive group where we showed a significant effect were the individual incentives directed at physicians. Researchers thought offering financial incentives to the team rather than the individual physician would increase overall performance. We did not find an effect for the practice level incentives. Often the, the team concept uh, wasn't fully uh, executed. Participants were very aware of the relationship between their performance and the rewards. And were interested to see how they were doing uh, in terms of what it would mean for their paycheck. There has been concern that offering financial incentives would lead to overtreatment, but researchers say that was not the case. This should give some insight and uh, reassurance to people that are concerned about unintended consequences of pay for performance. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.